The management of the Kenya Maritime Authority has been put on the spot over unaccounted funds earmarked for the construction of its headquarters in Mombasa County, appearing before the National Assembly Departmental Committee on Public Investments and Energy Tuesday, the authority was tasked to explain why the 1.7 billion shillings project was allocated a further half a billion shillings without following the laid down procedures. In response to committee queries, the newly appointed KMA Acting Director General Martin Munga said that half a billion shillings variation has not been paid to the contractor and is subject to further discussions with the Ministry of Public Works. The committee is murling over summoning the former Maritime Director General in the event that he will be implicated in the ongoing investigations. Therefore, contrary to Section 147, uh, Subsection 1 of the Public uh, Procurement and Assets Disposal Act 2015, which provides that under exceptional circumstances, advance payments may be grant granted and shall not exceed 20% of the price of the tender and shall be paid upon submission of the successive tenderer. What justifications do the builders or the contractors have in the variation? And that is why we are here. On behalf of the people of Kenya, of course we are looking for value for money. And then we have gone through uh, with KMA from money. And now we want to see for our eyes and then tomorrow we look at the documentation uh, between the Auditor General and the KMA responses. And fundamentally, and fundamentally, this building costs a variation of more than 500 million. 500 million is a lot of money. The final agreement of how much money is outstanding has not been reached. So the 500 million we're talking about here, the variations are subject to further discussions between us and the Ministry of Works. 